Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Toronto, Canada, and welcome to the Rogers Center. The Seattle Mariners taking on the Toronto Blue Jays. Here we go. The final game today, the American League Wild Card Series continuing. Crawford leading off for Seattle. 0 oh, 2 here. 0 oh, 2 pitch. Connects but goes foul. Still 0 oh, 2 here for Crawford. Ryu on the mound for the Blue Jays. And this one is going to go deep, but it will be caught. Four out number one. Moore now batting for Seattle. Swing and a miss, strike one. Here at this impressive stadium, the Rogers Center. Quite a marvel. Oh, and two. Here for Moore. 0-2 pitch, connects, and stays on the ground. He gets to first. Moore on first, Lewis at the plate for Seattle. Here in the top of the first inning of five in this ALWC game. 0-2, oh one out, one on here for Seattle. 0-2 pitch from Ryu, sent foul by Lewis. He stays alive at least for one more pitch. And this will be caught. To first, but he's safe. Seeger now batting for Seattle, and it bounces. And they're going to keep going. He gets to second. And now runners on second and third. More at third, secret second. Here we go. This is an easy pop fly to take us to the bottom of the first. No score between Seattle and Toronto, although they got pretty close. Leading off for the Blue Jays. Craig Biggio, Gonzalez on the mound for Seattle, swing and miss, strike one. Connex and Seeger chasing after it. He'll pick it up, throw to second, just to be safe, but Biggio stays at first. There's strike one. Bichette connects, sends it foul for strike two. Now Crawford will scoop it up to second and to first. Double play for the Seattle Mariners. Coriel Jr. now batting for Toronto. There's strike one, 91 mile per hour sinker. Connects, but the catch will be made in right field. Take us to the top of the second. Still no score here at the Rogers Center between the Mariners and the Blue Jays. And leading off here, Murphy for the Mariners in the top of the second. And he will send this one to the warning track, but it is caught. Four out number one. White now batting for Seattle. Connects as well in the center field. Caught. Two outs already. Ty France now batting for Seattle. I think it says France. This will go all the way back. And there is no catching that into the bullpen. Home run for Ty France. And it's 1-0 for Seattle. They take the lead over the Blue Jays. Here on the first game of the ALWC. Irvin now batting for the Mariners. Here on the top of the second. Canex, throw to first, out. So, at the end of the top of the second, the middle of the second, which I should have said, it is Seattle 1, Toronto 0, thanks to that home run. And the Blue Jays to bat again 
led off by Hernando. Strike one there from Gonzalez. Connects now. Crawford makes the catch. A low catch, but a catch nonetheless to bring up Vladimir Guerrero Jr., one of the star players here for the Blue Jays. That's strike one. Sinker. Connects. And this will breeze into center field. Lewis to second. Runner stays at first. Grichuk now batting for Toronto. There's a sinker. Strike one. Connects. Irvin with the catch to first. You never know. But he is able to slide and protect himself. However, oh, Gonzalez drops it. But still gets the out. And we go to the top of the third. Seattle still with the lead. 1-0 here over the Blue Jays on this Friday night. Game one of the ALWC. Crawford leading off for the Mariners. Connects, and it's going to go foul. Strike one. Swing and a miss early for strike two. Connects on an inside ball. And the throw to first, just a little bit late. Crawford to first base as Moore steps up to the plate now. Pickoff attempt unsuccessful. One out, er, no, one on, none out. This will go all the way back to the warning track. Catch is made. One out here in the top of the third. I thought it would go all the way, but it does not, and Lewis now batting for Toronto. Catch is made, throw to first, but too far away with the runner too close. Just two outs here. Seeger for Seattle will send this one deep to the warning track. Off the wall now. To second and to third. Two runners on. Oh, why would you do that? All right, uh, that was interesting. We go to the bottom of the third. Still a 1-0 lead for the Seattle Mariners. The Blue Jays to bat once again. Espinal leading things off. There's strike one. Connects. Crawford with the diving catch to bring up Jensen. Strike one, a 91 mile per hour sinker. Change up. He connects. Murphy behind the foul line for the catch. Two outs here in the bottom of the third. And a pitching change now for Seattle. Graveman coming in. Moore to first for the third out. And we go now to the top of the fourth. Still a 1-0 lead for Seattle. Can they increase that? We will find out here in the top of the fourth. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Swing and a miss. Strike two. 75 mile per hour curveball. Outside the strike zone. Oh my! He got all of it! Almost hits the dome! That ball is out of here! 441 feet, and that may be the best home run we've seen here so far in the playoffs, but again, it is only day one. 2 nothing, Seattle. Murphy now at the plate. Connects, but this one is caught, unlike his predecessor. White now stepping up to the plate. Connects, and this is gonna bounce. And he's gonna keep going, 
Can he get to second base? Yes, he can. White on second. Ty France had a home run earlier. He returns to the plate. First pitch is hit foul. Strike one. Connects. Runner stays at second. Batter is out at first. Irvin. Now batting for Seattle. Diving catch is made. So in the middle of the fourth inning, it's 2-0 for Seattle. The Blue Jays to bat once again here. Two more chances for Toronto to save themselves in game one of the wild card. Canex goes deep. Lewis is there for the catch. Out number one, Guriel Jr. now batting for Toronto. 97 mile per hour fastball for strike one. Away it goes. Irvin will make the catch for out number two. And Hernandez now batting for the Blue Jays. 97 mile per hour pitch for strike one. This will go deep. Lewis gets under it for out number three. To the top of the fifth we go here. The last time Seattle will bat unless somehow we go to extras. And Crawford will lead things off here for the Mariners. Connects into right field and this will roll all the way to the fence. Doesn't pick it up for a while and that'll allow the runner to get to third. Honestly, I feel like he could have gotten an inside the park home run there, but decides to play it safe. As that hit is caught. Throw to home just in case, because you never know. But Crawford stays at third. Lewis batting now for Seattle. Hits the first pitch foul, strike one. Connects. Diving catch is made by the third baseman. Out number two, Seeger now batting. That's gonna bounce, and it rolls foul. Saves himself. Strike one. Caught. We go to the bottom of the fifth. The last chance for Toronto here in game one of the ALWC, and we've got a huge slate of sports tomorrow. We'll have more baseball, we'll have college football, and we'll have the Premier League. Brighton versus Tottenham, 11.30 p.m. Eastern. Er, sorry, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 10.30 a.m. Central. Back it goes to Irvin for out number one. Two to go here for the Mariners. Grichuk now batting for Toronto. 97 miles per hour, strike one. Canex. And it's caught. Four out number two. Kirk, the last hope for Toronto. Here in game one, hits it right to Moore. And Seattle taking the win here. Two nothing. So that is all here from the Rogers Center in Toronto, Canada. We thank you for watching. We will see you tomorrow for the Premier League, for college football, and of course for game two of both the American League Wildcard Series and the National League Wildcard Series. Have a good rest of your Friday. Good night from Beagle Sports.